Hello, everyone. Last night, we had a great group of people on our class Zoom meeting, but unfortunately, I forgot to push the record button. So today, I'm going to redo this video, and I am going to uh, include everything that we talked about last night. Unfortunately, there won't be any audience participation, but I hope that I have included everything. And if you have any questions at the end of this video, please contact me and let me know what your questions are, and I'll be glad to answer them. I am Professor Underwood, and I am here to help you get through this course, uh, successfully, of course. And I am welcoming every one of you, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started by sharing my screen. So if you are having trouble, difficulty uh, viewing the screen, uh, send me an email, and I'll be glad to explain anything that you cannot see. So he, uh, here is my screen that I'm sharing. It is the same as what you are seeing. I'm going to show you that these side bars here can be closed or open to give you more room for your writing of your discussion forum. Over here on the left-hand side, you see that you can scroll down here and find the weeks quickly, easily, without having to scroll here in the middle of the page. Also over here, you're going to see that you have access to um, EBSCO books. Uh, it's another online um, source for you to use uh, for your um, sources that you need for your papers. Also, um, you will have uh, the Help Center here and also the library, the GMC library. So you may need these, but if you're not using them at the time, you may want to close them up. But I have a list of things I'm going to include, but uh, I want to make sure that I don't skip anything. So I'm going to be referring to my list every now and then. So you may see me uh, look over at my left. All right, so I'm going to tell you that there is no textbook for this class. Uh, all of your materials are going to be found in each week. And if we're in week one, which we are right now, here are the resources. Everything is in here that you will need. And this is what you're going to use for uh, citing your sources in your discussion forum. So I want to let you know uh, how to get there, what to use for your um, citings, your MLA format of your um, citing sources and things. If you have any questions, please make sure you contact me. I'm going to show you a little bit more about MLA in just a minute. All right, the next thing on my list is going to, back up here to the top, to news and announcements. And if you are new to the class, you might want to come here. This, this is what I'm sending out on a daily basis. I send a lot of emails. Start at the bottom. And if you're missing any of these that you did not get, you want to make sure you come back and read these. These should be in your email box unless you're brand new. I had some people join um, yesterday and today. So you may need to come back and go through some of these emails. All right, and then I'm gonna move on to the course syllabus here. Next thing in line. And on this course syllabus, uh, this has everything that we're gonna be doing in the course. And I wanted to show you a few things and that would be one, the performance criteria. Now on the performance criteria, you're gonna see what things are weighted. Whoops. So right here, you see discussion forms at top of the list with 25% and then all of the quizzes and you see that the lowest quiz is dropped and that's done automatically. Every time you take a quiz, the lowest one will be dropped. And then you see that we have a paper in week three, five and seven. And then your volunteer hours, five hours total for the entire quarter. And then we have a final exam. So if you are not participating in discussion forums, you're probably not gonna be having a very good grade in the course. So you wanna make sure that you participate in those weekly discussion forums. Okay, the next thing I want to show you would be the um, course schedule which tells you everything that's gonna go on during the whole course. And this is one place where you might want to close up some of these sidebars. So 
on a weekly basis. And then over here, it tells you what is due each week. Don't forget that the volunteer hours are due in week eight. I would suggest that you go ahead and do those immediately as soon as you can in weeks one and two and three early in the quarter, and then save it until week eight when you're gonna upload it. But this will help you plan ahead to know what's coming up each week. Okay, the next thing on my list is um, beginning this week, week one, which started on a Monday, your initial post is due today, which is Friday, by 11.55 p.m. But then all the rest of the weeks, weeks two through eight, your post is going to be due, your initial post is going to be due on Wednesdays at 11.55. 55 p.m. And then you will respond to two peers in addition to that by Sunday on two different days. And then all of your weekly quizzes are going to be due at 11.55. Also, your papers that you're going to be doing in weeks three, five, and seven are going to be due by Sundays at 11.55 p.m. And again, if you have any questions about this, please let me know. Here's a, a list of all the rubrics that we're going to be using for the discussion forum and for uh, your papers. So look at this one here about post substantive contributions such as I agree or good job will not be awarded any credit. Your initial post that you make needs 150 words minimum and the replies that you do to your peers need to be at least 100 words. Now, in your initial post, you need to put a source of where you got it. And I'm going to show you those one more time where they are on each week where your materials are. And those are your sources that you're going to use. And let's see. Uh, the next thing I have is right here the Global Online College Students Handbook and Resources. And this has a lot of information in it. And a lot of times when you send me a message, and I'm, I'm always happy to get messages from you, but I may refer you back here to this student resources. Here are some useful forms that you might need and some useful links. So right here under disability services, I want to let you know that if you had an IEP from high school and you want to be transferring that to GMC, you need to click here and contact Dr. Charles Wells, who will help you and guide you through this. And here's his email address. All right, I closed all my... Uh, Things so I need to open them back up. My computer is not the fastest one in the world, but it does a great job. All right, so we were right here with the um, Global Online College Students Resources. Some other important things that are here are tutoring information, which I'm going to scroll down and get that in just a second. And any, the library guides, the library information, that'll help you a lot with your resources as well. If you've not watched these, you may want to do that to get started. If you're having difficulty navigating, that's a good thing to do is go through those videos. All right, here's your civil discourse forums. And you get some information here on how to add an image to it or a video if you might want to uh, put a video in yours. Here's your grades on how to find your grades. I'll show you that in a minute when we go back to our regular page. Again, where your grades will be. Now, let's look at this section, help with academic writing. Right here, you're gonna see MLA. And this is where you're gonna need information for your discussion forms and for your papers. Look down here on the how-tos. 
how to format a paper in MLA. And this goes as well for your discussion forms. And there are some videos here that you can watch. How to cite an MLA. And I'm also going to send you another link. I'm going to send it through email on how to use a um, another site that will also help you format your resources in MLA style. But this will take you through everything that you need to know. Right here, it says you're going to use 8.5 by 11 paper, which you know that, Times New Roman, 12 point. So it takes you through every little step on how to format your paper. And here are some videos that you might want to watch, especially the Works Cited one and in-text citations, which we'll talk about a little bit later in the course. Okay, so um, let me scroll on down to find um, the resources. I'm going to go back one page. Yes, I am. And I'm going to scroll down further to find the disabilities and the tutoring. Our tutoring is called Brain Fuse. Okay, so here's your disabilities again, and you can use that at any time and talk with Dr. Charles Wells. And here's our Brain Fuse. Now you will log into this free tutoring right here uh, about Brain Fuse with your own GMC credentials, your logon information and your password. BrainFuse is a tutoring, and if you're having difficulty writing, or if you just want to submit your paper to them and let them check over it before you submit it to me, uh, that is always a great thing to do. Of course, you can't wait till the last minute because they won't have time to read everybody's paper. So you know, want to start early, and then send it to them, and they'll be glad to help you. All right. Let me see if there's anything else we need to go over in this section. This was our writing at MLA where I left off a minute ago. Okay, so I'm going to go back to our home page and show you a few things there. Right here are your grades. So if you need to check on your grades, which I haven't done any grading yet, I will start that on Monday. Grading right here. And you can see what your grades are and keep up with them. Please check them often. You never know when I might make a little slight uh, error and need uh, some assistance from you to remind me to go back and double check it. So that's how you get to your grades. All right, let me see what's next on my list. Um, I wanted to remind you about your discussion forms and your papers that this is a college class. And I expect you to write with college level writing. Uh, you're not going to have lowercase i's. You're not going to omit paragraphs and omit uh, punctuation. This is not a texting exercise. Uh, I don't want to see any LOLs or any other shorthand stuff for texting. Make sure that you're writing in a college level manner. The ones that I've seen so far have been very good. Uh, please make sure you continue to use punctuation and capitalization where it's needed. Remember, people's names need to be capitalized. Titles of things need to be capitalized. So I'm, I'm looking forward to you uh, using that. Okay, let's go to the discussion form. Now, the directions to the discussion form each week are at the top of the page. Okay, and you see it starts up here, it tells you what to do, and then it tells you what to do next, and then you're going to post. Now, you see right here where it says students click here? Every week, you're going to have this message, click here. Do not start a new discussion. That puts you outside of our class uh, discussion form. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to have your own private discussion form and nobody be able to see it um, and not be graded for it. So you look right here. It says you will not see any posts for 30 minutes. After you finish posting, you have to wait 30 minutes before you can go back in and look at your friend's posting. And it also says respond to your professor's posting. And that's the one where my picture is. So make sure that you do that. 
do not um do not start a new thread or discussion post do not click on add a new discussion so do not click here on add a new discussion because that will put you outside of the discussion form for the class you don't want to start a new one now right here it tells you topics to address you see that we had four this week so when you're writing your um posting your first response your initial response you want to have four paragraphs separate them by a blank line one blank line not 10. so make sure that you are um separating each one of these with a blank line so i know which each question that you are answering and that way you can kind of keep up with that too you do not need to number them you do not need to put bullets here just and you do not need to copy the question all you need to do is respond to it and uh, post your answer and then again right here statements like good post or i agree will not earn credit you need to make sure that your uh, responses have at least 100 words. And then your original post, the one that you post on your own, they need to have 150 words. All right, so it's right here. Using what you've read this week, reflect on these in 150 words. Yes, you can go over 150, but let's not get you know carried away too much. Um, make sure that you include an MLA for formatted source. And the things I just showed you is how you figure that out. I'm also going to show you one other place that you can go to um, do a MLA formatting. So you're going to click here where it says click here, students click here, and that's where you're going to post. And many people have already done this and it's been great. Very good answers. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is um, talk about um, withdrawing from the class. Today is the last day for drop ad. So if you, you view this um, or if you were with us last night, we had 31 people last night, so that was a great group. Uh, today is the last day to do drop ad. Now, drop ad means that you could drop a class and you can add a class. But after today, you're not going to be able to add anything. Once you withdraw, which will change instead of drop add, it's going to change to withdraw. You cannot go back and add another class after today. So you would be one class short of what you started out with. So um, before you ever withdraw from a class, you should always check with your graduation coach and also your financial aid advisor. So just don't say I'm getting mad and I'm not gonna do this anymore and drop. You wanna make sure, and withdraw, excuse me. You wanna make sure that you are um, checking with the information, find out what the ramifications might be if you do that. Okay, let me see what's next. Remember that today's the last day for drop ad. All right, emails. Uh, as you well know, I send a lot. And if you have not been reading them, you need to go back to news and announcements here and read them or just your email and read them and find out things that are important to you. You never know when I'm going to put a little tip in there about things you need to do. And I do send a lot of reminders like today you should have gotten an email saying that this is a day that you need to do your initial post, the last day. So your initial post is due today, and then you'll have the rest of the week until Sunday at 11.55 to um, respond to your peers. So make sure that you are checking your email often. Every day would be great. Uh, many of you have indicated that you are first-time students, and I welcome that. And I want this to be uh, an enjoyable, successful course for you. Uh, I don't want you to get discouraged and say, I can't do this anymore and I'm not going to come back to GMC. Uh, we focus a lot on retention and I want to be there to help you be successful, but you have to let me know what's going on. If you're struggling with something or if you break your leg and can't uh, you know, get out of the hospital in time to finish something, you need to make sure that you let me know and so I can work with you and get you back on track. So, uh, Make sure you stay in touch with me. Email is great. I'm watching my email a lot. Um, your My expectations for you are to make sure that you do not procrastinate. Do not wait until the last minute to complete an assignment. 
That way, if you are, you're going to be stressed and you're not going to do the best job that you could possibly do. So you want to make sure that you are um, following through starting on Sunday when the week opens. Sunday to Sunday are our weeks. So start early in the week and don't wait till the last minute. We have a paper coming up in week three, so you want to start early and get that taken care of. If you have any questions about it, make sure you let me know. Um, late work policy, you should have gotten that in your email. If not, go to news and announcements and read that. Uh, really, late work is not accepted. Um, you have to have a military reason, a military um, exercise that you're doing to keep you away from class or... Um, an illness, a death in the family, you want to make sure that you let me know what's going on so we can decide whether um, we're going to make accommodations for that or not. So uh, keep in touch. Uh, volunteer hours. I've had a lot of questions about the volunteer hours, and let me go over that with you here. I think it's right here. The volunteer form is here. The volunteer hours are five hours for the entire class. And you're going to use this form to help you. So you're going to fill in this form uh, on the days that you volunteer, the hours that you worked, and a signature from, not your signature, but somebody from where you volunteered and their contact information. Up here at the top, your name, LDR 101. In week eight, you will uh, submit this through Turnitin. I'll be sending a list of things that you can do for volunteer. It's very simple. One of the questions last night was, where can I volunteer? And it's almost anywhere. You can um, do a food pantry. You can help deliver food. You can volunteer at a, a medical office. You can help your neighbor who's elderly, uh, mow a lawn, um, babysit, whatever you need to do to volunteer to make uh, the five hours uh, acceptable to GMC. All right, overview of graded activities. I wanted to show you those. We have some that are graded and we have some that are not. Now the ones that are not, you've already completed one of those and that was your Moodle profile and your Starfish. Those are not graded, but you can't move on without doing them. So you wanna make sure that you do everything. But the civil discord forms are uh, graded, their papers are graded, your volunteer hours are graded, your quizzes are graded. And it says right here, don't forget about the Distinguished Order of the Servant Leader Award. Here are some ways, excuse me, some places that you can go and volunteer. You can click on these links and it'll give you some ideas. And here's again the form. If you need a letter uh, proving that you're at GMC, that letter will help you. Weekly quizzes and a comprehensive final exam. All those are graded. So make sure you read that and know what we're, you know, what your grades are going to consist of. All right, let me see what else I might need. Oh, if you have not completed this assignment, week one attendance, this is how you are secure in the class. If you complete this, you're good to go for the rest of the quarter. Right here. This is based on the syllabus. If you have not read the syllabus, you wanna make sure you do before you try to attempt this um, participation academic honesty verification quiz. So make sure that you uh, take this immediately if you have not, because on Monday, they're going to drop you if you have not completed this. This is what secures your position in the class. So you wanna make sure that you complete this and submit it. I reminded you about your initial discussion form being due tonight at 11.55, and then you have until Sunday, excuse me, at 11.55 to do your um, peers, to respond to at least two peers on two different days. Weeks run Sunday to Sunday. They open up at 12.01 on Sunday morning, and they close the next Sunday at 11.55 p.m. Again, questions, make sure that you um, let me know if you have any questions, I'm here to help you. I noticed this time we got a little update in our Moodle page, but they have to go to these show more, show less things to make sure you don't miss anything. So it says right here that you have to complete this 
your Moodle profile and your Starfish profile in order for week one to open. And right here, you have to also do the participation academic honesty verification quiz and make sure that these have been completed as well. So last night we had a good group um, and I'm hoping that everybody who was not available with us last night will make sure that you watch this and view this. And again, questions, questions, questions. That's what half of my job is, is answering your questions. And the other half of my job is um, boosting you on to success. So make sure that you let me know what's going on in your life. Uh, make sure you keep up with your assignments and don't procrastinate. So I'm looking forward to working with you this quarter and I hope everyone is doing well. Again, make sure you contact me. Thank you. Bye.